So underway, a beautiful evening in the Pacific Northwest. Glad to have you with us wherever you may be joining us from. Mark Savina, Kit McConico with you. But it's Seattle now on the front foot. The home side looking to strike first. Brimming with confidence after last week. Into the hands of Malcolm. And they will find the opener courtesy of Victor Comtat. The second row dots it down and the Seawolves find the first try. It makes it hard for that defensive line to get set. As you can see here, they found the space just through quick recycling of ball. Brilliant. The fix that was important, it was the depth of the second wave runner and also the perfect pass as well. Again, going through, Comtat already has a try. Can he make it a brace early on? Seattle across. That was Reno Herbs, the big South African. He and Comtat, the second row, getting involved. And then the little bobble, he did well to hold onto that Comtat. Driving the legs. It's a big, tall man. He's packed on some muscle under that frame as well. There has been a change made for the Sabercats. Nick Hildebrand, the tight head, giving away to Patrick Donovan, the 24 year old out of Colorado Springs, the former Lindenwood man in a rugby ATX HTX product I'm coming on. I have a foul play report. I've had a deliberate knee to the chest from yellow force, so it's going to be a yellow card. Deliberate. deliberate. Knee to the chest after the breakdown. Deliberate. How do you it was deliberate, deliberate, so it's a yellow card. Smith organizes the home side. Landry. The battle here, trying to get across. Dewey. I grounded. Hey. Two. Only the Dewey with the five. Twenty-one to nothing. Sea Wolves. Again, just too much pressure. Even then, you thought Herbs may have been off his feet there at the ruck. Who knows? Possibly got away with one. Reno Herbs. Alatimu took his eyes off it, but able to hold on. AJ Alatimu. In and out of the hands. Inifuti, the 25 year old. He has been one of the finds this year. Couldn't hold it. Now Windsor over the head. Windsor finds Bellicana. And it is high flying rugby in every sense here at Starfire Stadium. Four. Early tackle. Cynical. Well, Victor Comtat, the man headed to the bin. He found the opening try in the eighth minute. Early tackle. Now, all important line out here, Kit, for Houston. Fortuny able to find his target. Get out, get out, get out. Albernos, the ball. Boyson across the Namibian International. Dots it down, and it's try time Sabercats. That's better for the Sabercats, and it all came from that lead up play. Straight through the middle, holding their direction well. Rugby gear needs. Good kick there from Joyce, the former Connacht man. Get to the left, look, now get to the left, in the hands of Malcolm. Already has seven tries. Across goes Malcolm. Make it eight tries on the year for the 26-year-old from Glasgow. And that's going to hurt Houston psychologically as well when they know that Seattle are playing with one less forward. Yeah, so a shortened line out there. Well executed. You just see Malcolm tuck in nice and tight. And here, 24 year old Namibian International, Mike Shepard, 31 year old from Indiana, his fourth year with Seattle. And Gavin Prentice, the youngster, the local man out of Lakeside High School, the Seattle native. He will head back to Cambridge, Massachusetts at the end of the season. But right now, it's the Seawolves on the back foot, and it's the Sabercats in the try zone of Fiverr for Houston. Well, they pumped up about it, too. Still in this game, Houston. That's what they needed. Got the penalty. Takes it to the mark, or near enough. Pat Roach was happy with that, and then just gets his body weight low. 
two converted tries from catching Seattle. That extra penalty would have put them three scores away. And with 20, 18 minutes now to go, that's a tough ask for Houston. Houston down to buy a pair of tries and conversions. Successful conversions, I should say. And also going against the clock. Over the 10 meter line. Futi to wide. Had it ripped away by Boyson. Futi there. Joyce able to get by the co captain Beecham. Untied has had a fantastic afternoon. Alatimu with the offload finds Yamada, the Japanese international. Able to get it out, Tamai Vena, Tamai Vena, CT Tamai Vena still on his feet and right behind the post. CT Tamai Vena dots it down for the full seven. Champagne rugby from Seattle. What a try. The ball movement, the skill, the risk, and it paid off. That's early days, Kit, but I think we may end up seeing that one in the MLR All Access Top 5 Tries of the Week. The greater Seattle area in Renton, former West Side Ronin, and look we'll at Yamada. On. Well, it was great work from Alatimu just to take it to the line. Yamada coming in. Awesome it's going to go against Shepard and the Seawolves. Quick restart inside, Bellacana across and down behind the post, the full five for the Fiji, or excuse me, the full seven for the Fijian. There is a kick. Pro 14 over in Europe. As you see Boyer doing well to just pick up the pace of the game. Boyer out to Windsor. Windsor able to find Bellacana. Able to step around. Big tackle from Tom Ivena. CT there. He has come to Houston. He will be the director of rugby for the Sabercats. A massive pickup there for JT on yet into his side in Space City. Futi outside, Smith, a kick through, able to find Ferris, and Ferris across for the try. What a try from Seattle. Did I say try the week with the last one? There's another one, I know it's early days, but what a try, one of the best you'll see this season. It had everything. I love the double dummy, the fake from Futi, just held up that ball perfectly. It was like a training drill. And then the kick, the reinforcements coming in for Seattle, just blue jerseys everywhere. Take another look. So here's where it started. Counter-attack from the turnover. The dummy on the inside, the dummy on the outside, and then finding the wing, the man open, and that kick on a dime, perfectly weighted. Oh, and we were looking at it from that angle. It was like a no-look kick. I've seen no-look passes before, but not a no-look kick. Last play of the game here, Kit. Let's see what they do. That'll do us. The final whistle brings 2021 to a close for both Seattle and Houston. And it's the Seawolves who come away with the victory.